So you guys just saw June's part. Now we're gonna do a board setup so you guys can get to know him a little better. For sure, what's up guys? I'm June Saito from San Diego and uh, we're gonna do a little board setup here. Uh, got a active board, size eight, because I suck at flipping things and if I had any <laughs> board that was like any bigger than that, it would suck. <laughs> yeah, I feel you man, I'm still on that 775. Dude, it's so sick. Easier to do like triple flips and stuff, I'm assuming. Yes easier for everything. That's true, man. That's like the OG stuff right there. It is. So how's everything been, man? Just Great, dude. Yeah. Just staying busy, you know? Summer's kicked off. Yep. It's in full gear. Yep. It's freaking awesome, man. It's starting to heat up, though. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. Oh my gosh. It's been like 90 the past couple days in uh, San Diego, and it's horrible. We're not used to that, really, because, you know, we're by the water and just also like... It's, it's normally really it's cool down there. Bad. Yeah. And the local park that I go to, it's been like 90. And then the Encinitas Park, Poods, it's been like, like I've been checking the weather for Encinitas and it's been like 70 apparently. Damn. But they got the whole Del Mar Fair going on right now too, the San Diego County Fair. Going to Poods has got to be, it's like, it's so horrible because you're hitting that traffic because everyone's trying to go to the fair. It's crazy. It's a lot. You like to skate mob, huh? Yeah, for sure. Mob is the best, man. I can't really, I've tried everything else, but it just doesn't really work for me. Yeah. I mean, with the mob, like I even sand it down just a little bit too, but like with every other grip that I have or the, that I've tried, it just if I try and sand it down, like it doesn't work. For me. It just wears out even faster later on. 
horrible at gripping boards, as you can tell. <laughs> but it's all good. I'll make it work. So yeah, man, how, how long have you been skating? Uh, I started when I was five and I'm 24 now. So I've been skating for a while, like 19 Damn. years. Damn. Yeah. Prop G, about yeah. to hit 20. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, time flies, man. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, it does. Have you always lived in San Diego? I have, yeah. Oh, okay, sick. I just kind of started skating because of my brother. Really? Yeah. I like found his board like in the garage and like I would take it and like I would go in my backyard and there's like that little hallway on the side of the house that goes to the front yard and I yeah. would just literally sit on the board and just like go back and forth on it. And one day my brother was kind of clowning me and telling me to like actually learn how to skate. Damn, so, that's like, tight. That's right, older brother. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that's kind of how it all started and eventually, you know, I got my first board on Christmas still remember what it was it wasn't like it was one of those like generic like toys r us boards you know but uh you know it was better than nothing you know you've got to get your start somewhere so i was all hyped on that i remember like i was just waiting so patiently for my for my parents to get that for me and oh my god i'm horrible <laughs> this is a beautiful blade because it's brand new but brand i'm just new. horrible at cutting grip i'm just putting grip on uh, i don't work at a skate shop who was your first sponsor uh, it was actually like just a couple years ago with Willie Santos. He had a skate shop called Willie's Workshop in uh, Rancho Penasquitos in San Diego. He opened that up a long time ago, but uh, I didn't skate for the shop or anything. Um, and then recently, like within the past couple years, he had to close down the shop, which kind of sucked. But uh, he decided to kind of just turn that into like his own brand. Yeah. So it's like Willie's Workshop is like now its own brand instead of a shop. And this is actually one of the boards, the workshop boards. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick uh, workshop. And then. It's Filipino, so like it has it says Wasakin. It's like I guess like destroy and like no way, it. yeah. Because he has one that says Sakya not Wasakin, which is like basically like ride and destroy or skate and destroy. That's Tagalog. so sick. So, yeah, it has like the Filipino colors and everything on it too. So that's that right there. That's awesome. I didn't know he did that. Yeah. So he just like recently, you know, started it, turned it into his own brand, and it's doing pretty good right now. That's rad. Yeah. He's super popular in the Philippines right now, and uh, even in Japan, actually, he's got a couple people. Japan. All right. His stuff like at a couple shops, so that's pretty cool. That's dope. Yeah. So, uh, what inspired you to want to be like such a gnarly manual skater? Dude, honestly, it was it was uh, the Tony Hawk games. Serious? Yeah. Um, <laughs> not Tony. It was after Tony Hawk Pro Skater One. It was Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two. Uh, that's when they first introduced Rodney Mullen to the game, and like it was weird because I like look at all the skaters and then I come across Rodney Mullen. I'm like, why is his like why are his stats so low except for the balance? The balance was like maxed out. So like I decided to try and play with Rodney and uh, like I just found it so much easier to balance. Like when I get into the manual, like the little balance meter just like stayed steady in the middle the entire time. And I was like, dude, this is how you build up all the combos and all the points. <laughs> so I just started playing as Rodney all the time. And like, as you progress through the, the game, you like unlock those videos and stuff. I was watching all this Rodney, like, all the Rodney videos and like saw all the freestyle and all the insane stuff he was doing and I was hooked on it. And so it's because of Rodney. It's because of Rodney, man. And Tony That's, Hawk. <laughs> yeah, I got to thank them for sure. And uh, you know, I, I just like played as Rodney every single game after that. You know, it's like three, four, underground and all that stuff. That's so sick. Yeah. Then, so uh, you're also really, really good at like crazy trick shots with red cups, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, well, I would just say lucky, not really good at all. Because <laughs> I'll sit there for hours sometimes to just make one shot. And uh, I wouldn't say it's skill or there's any skill involved with it, as long as you're patient enough. I guess patience is the skill there. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of people I know, like, they would, like, they saw, like, a couple of your clips and, like, wait, is that the same guy? And like, <laughs> oh, my God, that is. That's him. You know? Yeah, definitely. That's so funny. It was, uh, it was funny because I went to the Lakai premiere a couple days ago. At, uh, in San Diego at Escondido at La Paloma Theater and like I walk up with Willie to get the wristbands and uh, there's this guy named Nico who read for Lakai and he's like sitting on the bench just chilling with Sibo Walker and uh, he like looks at me and he's like cups? And I'm just like <laughs> yeah like that's me that is so good. but I'm, like, I've never met the dude like ever but he just looked at me and just like just knew. Just threw the cups yeah so uh, Oh, yeah. Do you see it for Crux? I do, I do indeed. Ron Whaley, the TM, is the man hooking it up. Seriously, the nicest guy ever, too. That's awesome. Yeah, like you can send him like a single clip of like doing something dumb, and he'll be so hyped on it just because he's just hyped for everyone on the team. They're shredding. Yeah, dude, I love it. And like 
all the colors and stuff. Cause I like colorful like trucks and colorful like boards and stuff. Your Steve, dude. Is seriously, the the perfect company for that. You know, they have like the rainbow trucks and stuff. They do. Yeah, they have like the rainbow oh, ones, that. and then they have another one too. It's like half like pink, half uh, blue. And I guess it's like the whole like supporting like transgender stuff. And so, and then they have the rainbow one. I think that's like to support like the the gays, so like the LGBTQ stuff. And yeah. I think that's pretty cool that trucks does that for them. It is. Yeah, just to support it. Damn, you skate tight trucks, dude. dude the tightest. You I just, just go ahead that. and step on it. Go for wow. it, man. They don't turn at all. Holy I crap. do not like to turn at all. People thought mine were tight. Yeah. I just noticed. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. I uh, do not like to turn at all. What size wheels do you skate? 52s. Okay. Yeah, I got the 52 millimeter uh, survey wheels on right now. Cool. What kind of bearings? Uh, it's kind of like half Bronson, half like reds. Oh, and I like wow. broke some of them and like my friends had like extra bearings and they were to like reds, so I was too easy to go out and buy new bearings. I gotta get a clip of you skating my board, man, with the trucks. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> It's hilarious. I probably, I probably won't do too bad because <laughs> well, mine, yeah, you uh, probably read, like, the mine are pretty tight. So. That's sick. I've got the Bones hard bushings in there too. So like, Damn, those must like be extra, crazy like, tight. Yeah. I've actually snapped like five kingpins already. Like, wow. Because like they just can't take it, I guess. That's <laughs> gnarly. Really too tight. That's really gnarly. Yeah. That's just how it is though. It's easier to manual with tight trucks. I don't know if you uh, tried cranking them up super tight. No. Nah. I mean, especially with the type of combos you do, I, I'd imagine with the spinning stuff, yeah, that probably really helps a lot. Totally. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if you just lean too much on your heel or your toe with loose trucks, you just immediately touch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's just my reasoning behind it. And it's not like I film a lot of lines. Usually my lines are just like in, on one manual pad, so like, <laughs> I don't really need to... Uh, to loosen them up but i filmed a couple lines and i had to like loosen my trucks it takes a little bit to get used to but it does right yeah totally what's knock around knock around is a sunglass company that hooked me up with uh, sunglasses these are actually knock oh, cool. right now. yeah they're based out of san diego uh, san diego san diego they make affordable sunglasses very stylish so that's rad yeah it's really cool my buddy uh worked for them and like one day uh he just called me up and Asked me if I wanted to get some shades from them, and I was down. Yo, bro, you're gonna skate for this company, man. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like you're almost done. You'll be able to go over there and try and stack some tricks. I'll try. <laughs> yeah, those trucks are tight, dude. Super tight. How long do trucks normally last you? Not that long, though. Usually, like, two months. I don't want to, like, wow. Yeah, what the heck? I put the stickers on the bottom, like, two or three every oh, single cool. time. Because like these stickers are super thick and like I always break the tail. So I feel like since these stickers are here, like kind of absorb some of the impact. A little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. I always put grip tape under mine just so they don't shift around. No, that's but that's a, that's a really cool tip, dude. Yeah, that's just the way I do it. Just cause I'm, I always land in manual no matter what, even if oh. I don't try to. That's just like how I naturally like land back on the board. Yeah. You know what's funny is I always have a tendency to shift forward. Yeah. So I've been making myself almost every ollie I try to do, I try to land back truck first. I kind of like am retraining my body to like be comfortable with that, you right. know? That's awesome. I think it happens to a lot of filmers, but because you know when you're filming, you're always on your, your right leg, your right. front leg. Right, right. So you're pushing and then when you skate, you just kind of tend to just pop Lean and then go way. forward, yeah, you know? Definitely. I'm in the process of retraining myself. That's got to be kind of tricky to kind of like get the stuff to do that though. Oh, it is. It's just all muscle memory, you know? Right. You just got to constantly focus on it. It to get it to start to work Maybe again just do try and do everything to manual yeah <laughs> no yes no seriously but like any little ollie i'll do yeah whether it's like into a ramp or like off a bump or even over stuff i'll tend to try and just kind of like snap and like just barely land first you right, know right. so i stay centered in that back area right, right. well sick man looks like you're about finished setting up this uh this board yeah let's try and stack some clips let's do it yeah if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really does help. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you like the type of content that I, that I post. I upload almost every day. And please turn on those post notifications so that you're notified when I post a video. Thanks, yo. Have a great day or night or whatever.